camels in my Minecraft? Excuse me? Oh, yes. Get up for the ca camera. Great job. This is Minecraft 1.20. It's a snapshot. Uh, actually a pre-release. We're going to be playing in our regular building with B00 single player world today, but we're going to be implementing. Oh, that's right, because this update's coming very soon. 1.20, coming very soon, we're going to be implementing some things from this snapshot. Uh, from this update because it'll be here next episode, so why not? I, I want to show you a couple things. I put out a bunch of stuff. There's bamboo, there's new pink stuff, there's a bunch of new stuff, and eventually we'll get through it all. This ain't the peep show, for those of you that have been around for a long time, but a couple things I wanted to show you that I thought were really interesting. This decorated pot is really cool. I think this will be very useful at some point, right? You can even, you know what you can do? It's the exact same size as a chest which is cool. New block models open up a lot of possibilities. You can also find little pieces out in the world like this from doing some archaeology, brushing things and stuff. This is directional, so it's not always going to be facing this way. If I face this way, it can face like that. If I face this way, it can face like that. Very cool. The hitbox for this doesn't include this top part, so you can put things on the, on the top. You can put a light in there. You can put candles in there, which is kind of cool. And you can even put flower pots in there. Interesting. I was really hopeful that they would add a bigger flower pot that you could put two tall flowers in. Like we've never had a place to put these guys. And I thought, oh, they're doing it. They're doing it. But they're not, unfortunately. You can't put too tall anything in here. The only way you can put a flower in there is by putting a flower pot on top and then a flower in it. Still, this might be the most versatile block. It works great as a column. If we just boom, 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 boom. Really cool column block. Although, look off in the distance, it's an entity. So it disappears when you're a certain distance away. There's a little column right there that will disappear right now um so has its pros and cons overall i think this is a really cool addition one of the ones i'm most excited about adding because we need more block models for more decoration especially interior speaking of new block models the chiseled bookshelf easily crafted with planks on top and bottom and slabs in the middle and you get the chiseled bookshelf you don't have to use books to craft it like you do with the normal bookshelf, it's beautiful. Usually we'd use the loom to get this empty bookshelf texture, but sure enough, now we have a functional bookshelf. And this is the thing that we're going to be playing with a lot today. Uh, but the nice thing about this as well, they used to have it to where no matter where you clicked on the block, the books would just go in order. One, two, three, four, five, six. But now you can look at a spot. I look here, book go here. I look here, book go here. I look here, book go here. So you can actually decorate out how the bookshelf looks. There's a full one, there's a semi, you know, you get the point. You can also, you can almost create like a bookshelf animation if you wanted to by putting a hopper underneath and sucking the books out automatically. You can have them sucked out and put in automatically which i think is very cool so if i go like this and break that off and i put a couple books in there boom they go in that's pretty sick so we're going to be playing with this a little bit today after we build what we build uh it also has a very cool top texture that's it oh where is it there you can see it sure enough uh very cool top texture like a chiseled wood and it also has cool side texture chiseled wood looking thing which I'm very excited about. Those are the things I'm most pumped about. I think uh, the new bamboo wood set's going to be really cool. Uh, the new cherry uh, pink petals, these are really cool. You can, you know, put one, two, three, four. That's really cool. Not super excited about the flowers. The armor trims, pretty cool. This is actually my kid's world. My daughter Eden and Aerie like playing around in the snapshot in here. And I kind of like watching to see what they do. Uh, but my daughter Eden has really taken to the armor trims. She loves messing with all the armor trims. So here's a little showcase she made for you. 
red leather armor with diamond trim, pink armor with diamond trim, netherite with gold trim, amethyst trim. Uh, this is netherite trim on, I mean, look, lapis trim, copper trim, emerald trim. There's some really cool stuff you can do with armor trims here uh, that I think is really cool, especially on like multiplayer with hermitcraft and stuff. You can make some cool clothing shops and whatnot, which I think is pretty neat. Uh, and you find those armor trims. Is there's finally a use for the uh, this table, the smithing table. So you put a little template in there and... Uh, yeah, you can go to other channels to see the exact specifications of how all this stuff is done and eventually it'll come become common knowledge. But anyway, the main thing I wanted to talk about was this bookshelf because we're going to make kind of a thing, a uh, magical emporium for ourselves today in our single player world. All right, I have flattened out some more terrain. Oh, so much terrain mess around. Mess around with terrain, I mess around. We got the terrain cleared out, ready for our build today. Remember last episode, this brutalist build? Oh, baby, I'm still loving it. And I'm I'm working uh, very carefully on the rest of it. I do have plans, but I'm taking my time. I'm not rushing myself. The inside of this building will be filled with a lot of useful farms and things it's not just a decoration thing it's gonna have purpose oh today though today we're gonna build something that's gonna be so cool but oh man there's one thing you want to know you know how some things in life you see them and it's like oh man that thing gives me joy i see this and it makes me feel a feeling of happiness this when I see this, I get sad. I get very, very sad. A feeling of pure despair. <laughs> the most sad you could be in your life. When you build something that needs mangrove wood in it, you have made a sad decision because you're going to need to do this and farm this, this nightmare. And this was an easy one, believe it or not. But look, oh, one hidden in there. Huh, found you. Is there another random one hidden in here? Maybe, maybe. Oh, I'm falling. Ah, ha, ha. Oh, this is the hardest, most difficult. I will, I will venture to say one of one of the most difficult blocks to get in Minecraft. Mangrove wood. Now, of course, the payoff is amazing. The mangrove planks are beautiful. The stripped, even the regular log is nice. The stripped is beautiful. We'll be using those today, but I just spent about uh, three hours harvesting this stuff. And if there's ever been a time in my Minecraft career where I felt like I need a TNT duper, it's now. <laughs> Because that's the best way to farm these things, is you make a TNT duper that times the TNT to come down and blow them up. And then you can get the mangrove wood at about the same rate you would other woods. You know, spruce and jungle and all of those things. Oh, I'm saying all that with hopes and prayers that one day this word will get out there and uh, maybe a change will be made. You know, maybe the tree model could change or something. I don't know. They might be a little pot committed on that. But lots of materials. Lots. Oh, look at all this. This took forever. <laughs> lots of this. Um, but we're going to make a cool little build here. All right. It's going to be two stories. Top story. Well, let's talk about the bottom story first. This is one of my favorite combos in the game right now. Tough with mossy cobblestone. It's so good. They work so well together. As well as you get a little gravel in there. That's really nice. And even stone. You can work your way. You can work your way to uh, some nice colors through this. I really like this. As well as, you know, you get some cobblestone. So that'll be the base. The base, the strongest part, you know, needing to be the strongest part to support the upstairs, uh, will be made out of these stronger materials. Now the upstairs, ooh, we're going to get a little interesting. Rain, rain, go away, come again another day. So upstairs, this is fairly traditional, right? The dark oak logs, but 
we're going to do some fun stuff with it. So let's get, this is a good enough section right here. Uh, let's do some brown mushroom blocks there, okay? This is what the logs will look like, and then or the walls will look like up top, okay? So that looks pretty good, right? But let's make it look even better. So we get a really close blend, and this is fairly time-consuming, but worth it. If we put another mushroom next to, look, you put a mushroom next to a mushroom, and it rips the side off. I think I talked about that last episode, wishing we could strip these mushrooms to get the skin off, but that's okay. Pretty cool. Then we continue, because there's going to be quite a bit of red on the bottom. We'll continue that there. This is just a small scale version of what I want to do. And then where is, there they are. Something like that. That's what the walls will look like. And then the, the roof will just do just like over there out of deep slate, just to keep it a continuous theme. Uh, so, I think it's going to be a pretty interesting outside. The most exciting part, I think, is going to be the inside. So now I think it's time for beat-ups to get to that. But before I do, let's watch some pickleball and take a quick commercial break. Do you have a side hustle? This guy does, and he was able to accomplish it all thanks to Squarespace. He's teaching online courses through his website, for the new fad sport called pickleball. Even though it's not a real sport and will be obsolete within two years because it's just a fad, he was able to easily set up a members area for his students. <laughs> and then he could host his course videos right on his site thanks to Squarespace's great video hosting and monetization tools. It was easy. It's windy today. We lost 10 to 0. And when people realize that he stinks at the game, he'll be able to use the detailed analytics that Squarespace provides to see how and why people are leaving. In this day and age, everyone needs some sort of side hustle, and Squarespace is here to hold your hand through it and help you along the way. So check out the link in the description or go to squarespace.com slash B00100 to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And there she blows. My back of my head. B dubs a magic emporium filled with magical goods. The view? Huh? It's getting better. I know we've been wanting for a long time. You know what? Which horse? We take this horse. Oh, yeah. You guys have been, you see my hermit craft? I'm getting good horse over there. I'm going to get a good horse here, although this is a great one. I'm loving views. Every way I turn, I'm loving the views. Can you go? I never did horse down here, did I? So, here we are. The new building, it's in. And I know, you know what? Some people have been saying, B-dubs, don't change the tree. It's great tree. I hate this tree, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's okay. Um, I think I'm going to change it, though. All right. Uh, is this horse safe by this? Sure, you'll be fine. Just don't jump in the fire. You've got to be kidding me. You know what? It's okay. We're going to start out inside. I love rain, but this does something to the video where there's so many particles on the screen that the video isn't very clean. So when I'm looking here, nice and clean. When I'm looking here, kind of pixely and stuff. So it's fine. We'll go inside. Like when I play regular, I like that rain. But it, let's go inside. Let's look at the inside. Vita love doing interiors. And we'll eventually make this better. But let's talk about the interior. Floor, big mess, right? Jungle planks, spruce planks, stripped spruce logs, oak logs. All over the place. Different types of rugs all over the place. I got inspired by th for this when I was building. I did, I got to admit, I did like a little craft thing. Oop, don't look in that door. Okay, let's look. It's not 
this is going to be stairway up eventually, but it's not right now. Um, I did like this craft thing where you cut out all these things and you make you glue this wood together and you make this ro building room thing, and it really inspired me. Tons of like shelves and stuff. So I thought, yeah, let's do that. Let's build this in Minecraft. So lots of things. Obviously, we got some plants right here. We got uh, paintings on the walls, but then I just made tons and tons of these would be like uh, what uh, a hutch. That's what it's called. As a matter of fact, I got so inspired when I did this, I bought a hutch myself. Uh, so there's just a bunch of big storage areas. Here's a big one. Here's one right here with the shelf pulled out with shelves on top with books. And then, uh, oh, there's some cool paint. paint. <coughs> if you haven't been able to tell today, B-dubs is getting over a little bit of an allergy thing. But uh, yeah, all of these just different. This one's made out of uh, oak wood with different signs. And then I've been using the old uh, signs item frames and then something in the item frame to look like a handle trick. So I used gold pressure plates a lot. Um, and then just a lot of random things. I got to stop that from growing on there, though, somehow. I'll figure it out. Don't worry. Uh, but then, yeah, even this like looks like a rug on the ground. The bed's down there and I can sleep. It'll be obstructed, but I can at least sleep, which I think is cool. But then, yeah, squeezing some paintings in up here. And this is a cool trick. I learned some cool tricks with chains and getting, like, item frames and doing some cool decorative things. You can see it over here as well. I haven't put names on these signs because we're going to do some comparing in a little bit. But look at this. You take, let me just do this manually right here. So you hang a chain like that, and then you put an item frame like a so, and then you put a sign like that. It's down on this pressure plate, which is a full block, and it goes up into that. How cool is that? I did it here as well, and that's basically, that's how I got that up there as well. That lantern is really cool, and you can write things so it looks like this is a vanilla right now 1.19 hanging sign. We're going to do real ones in a little bit. But over here as well, just lots of just, just cabinet-looking things. A lot of this is decorative, but also very functional. And we're going to make this whole place functional when we get the real bookshelves in here, which I think is going to be cool. Just did a lot of things to add decoration. Some amethyst up there to look like jewels. Uh, just some magical jewels and then some labeling. A lot of cool places to put signs and stuff, which I think is kind of neat. Signs wrapping around um, chains. I, I love it. I think it looks really cool. Well, here I tucked in a, a stairway going upstairs. And the upstairs is not finished. But, ooh, this is dark right here. Let's put a torch right over here to brighten things up a little bit. This is going to be a walkway across, I think, to another building over there. But... I did some cool things with the windows here. So you know the outside trim is red. So I used red stained glass on the inside. Remember that. Because on the outside, you'll see what this does. This is two layers of stained glass panes. Okay? There's light gray. And that's red on the inside. And on the outside, even on the inside, it looks like a red window. But on the outside, it gives a pretty cool impression of uh, red grids. In the windows which i think is pretty cool to add to that magic feel we got a little enchanting table right here kind of got some harry potter vibes a little bit right little enchanting table in the display bay window right there and then here i've got a back door that goes down and out and all this is of course unfinished over to our apothecary what is, what is that place called i forget already Oh, yes, finally able to sleep. Okay, fantastic. All right. Okay, now the rain will go away. Things will clear up and we'll get a little better view. So here's what I'm talking about with those double layered windows. Windows are so hard in Minecraft, especially on like a smaller scale. I'm seeing that builders are calling it a player scale. Player scale is more so like this kind of smaller scale that I always build in, more survival friendly. Um, but... There's ways. If you force it, if you really force it, these double layered windows, these look like kind of red trimmed windows. We did the same thing with the bay window here where 
using that red stained glass on the inside looks like red grids in the window, which I think is pretty cool. But here you can see that uh, the red mangrove wood that we kind of use for some detail in there, which I think looks really nice. This is kind of my first time doing a build that heavily utilizes that mangrove wood, and I'm happy about it. This, these trap doors along the bottom, I know don't look great from the underside, but they kind of just blur, you know, when you're walking up, and it looks like kind of a patinaed copper gutter, like a bluish gutter, which I think looks really cool. And up there, little book. Little enchanted book. See what our enchanted books look like? Brown with the red and then a little gold lock with the pages. Kind of a similar look right there. So that's the sign for the building as well. Uh, anything else interesting to point out? Lots of things. You know, we got wood out here. We've got some bookshelves on the outside to kind of say that's what this building is for. Some other stuff stacked up on the outside. Got this tower here where I've tried to implement a little bit of the dirt with the packed mud and the mud bricks as well with a little bit of light gray terracotta. And I think it looks pretty nice. The backside plain. And I'm leaving it plain kind of intentionally because this, I think, is going to be like a back alley area where we'll be able to do some interesting things uh, in the future once we start getting some more buildings planned out here. But... Now is the moment of truth. Now's the time. We're going to update this world to Minecraft 1.20. Of course, I'll take a backup just in case there's any problems. Uh, so we'll be right here if there are any in the future. But we're going into that pre-release, taking a big risk. We're going to go for it and try out some of these new blocks in this build. Okay, and here we are. You know, one of the biggest reasons why I wait and play with modded is because I like fog. <laughs> and the vanilla fog in this game is trash. They changed it not long ago, uh, maybe a year or so ago. And boy, oh boy, did they mess it up. <laughs> it's the, the fog just got worse and worse and worse. I did a tweet on it. Uh, a year ago begging for them not to change it and sure enough they did they changed it uh, but uh, so now I just usually wait for mods to come out but for this I just can't wait I just gotta do I just gotta go for it so actually this is gonna be birch signs and I think that's okay oh you get six of them holy moly okay 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 that's that's cool that's cool all right and a chiseled bookshelf. There's 10. Lovely. Okay, let's play with this a little bit and see what we can get. So, of course, let's let's do let's just uh where can I put this hanging sign? Can I put this on here? Can't put it on a slab. Can I put it on that? Can't put it on that. Can't put it on that. Could put it there. Okay, interesting. I thought I shot an arrow. I'm surprised I can't put it up against stair blocks. Or slab blocks. That's that's a little shocking. Maybe, I mean, this is all brand new to me, so maybe I'm missing out on something. I can put it up against glass. Not up against stairs and slabs is pretty surprising. I'm shocked. Um, getting a few stutters here as well. Uh, but let's go inside and let's see. So we did this thing, right? But the new way, we can just pop this right here. And it's a hanging sign. That's cool. That's cool. I wonder if I like the other way better. I'm not quite sure yet. Can I do that same trick? I can do that same trick. Okay, that's kind of a cool look. Where you place it down like that and have the item frame up there. I like that. Okay, okay. Um, so let's, let's tuck in some of these right here. Let's get some chisel bookshelves right in here boom 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 chisel bookshelves oh yeah it's cool it's cool seeing things you've never seen now i have the looting sign on that so let's start putting some looting books in there yeah 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 i like i like that that's a pretty cool look now i, I it's my first time ever playing with this stuff so let's mix in like a real bookshelf with it i think i love that i love 
the real bookshelves mixed with the chiseled ones. Now, I'm curious. Can I just put... Oh, you can. Okay, very cool. That's that's good. You can just put books that aren't written. They're just regular old books. You can store books in here. That's huge. That's huge. So I can grab a book from here, take it, because eventually I want to have all of my villagers that I use to trade for the books. They're all underneath, underground over there. I want to have them in this building eventually. So I can just store a bunch of books and hide them um, hide them in these bookshelves. That's cool. Up here, we've got a loom sitting there. Let's put a chiseled bookshelf. Oh, yeah. We'll put some mending in that. Oh, yeah. I'm hearing a sound. Listen very closely. It makes a ringing sound when you put that in there as well. Oh man, it adds it adds quite a bit as far as the look. When you walk into here, it feels more lively. And also the fact that there's function to it. You can just walk up to it, grab your book. That's pretty huge. I I really like that quite a bit. Let's tuck in. I think this would be a good spot as well. Even outside, we can get some of these bad boys in here. We can tuck a couple of books in here. Oh yeah, baby. I love that. Oh, that really adds to the decorative uh, decorative look of the whole thing. That's really cool. Okay, I do love, I love the chiseled bookshelves. And just even the empty ones, we're going to find a lot more uses for those in the future. But these hanging signs, I'm a little disappointed. This is my first time using them, and I'm disappointed about this. I want to see if I can rig something real quick. So if I put a hanging sign there, right? There, there. They can attach to each other, which is very cool. You can walk through it. Okay, can I jump through it? No, 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 no. Okay, uh, but then if I remove this, does the whole thing come down? Because it is attached here. <clears throat> okay, remember, we are in a pre-release. Hold on. Okay. Oh. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> okay. 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 Um, so these float, you can make them float. So they can go pretty much anywhere. All right. I think this might be patched. If they can just float in midair like that, aw. if they could just float in midair, then we should be able to just place them up against, right? How do they line up with the chains? Not good, not good, not good. Okay, chains, eh, okay. We, we have different uses for those, but that's cool. That's cool, so so we can do some things in the future to make those work. That's, that's nice, I'm glad that they float. <laughs> that's a good thing. Oh, oh. Okay, type in a sign, done. Type more in a sign. Oh, right click sign. Wait a second. Hold on a second. Can you do that on regular signs as well? Type in a sign. Done. Type more in a sign. <gasps> huge. Oh, that's huge. I love that. Okay, that's, that's actually very nice. All right, here's a big test. Hanging sign. That won't work. That doesn't float. Hanging sign. If you remove what it's hanging on, then it goes away. And that makes that makes sense with how everything else works. But uh, these floating ones, this is pretty crazy. I mean, I hope they don't change it to where these don't. Like, the fact that they, they can float is a nice thing. Um, but the fact that they can't be placed on certain blocks is a little bit cray. Would you believe it? It's raining again. Oh, yeah. Freaking beautiful timing. Okay. Um, hey, but frame-wise, everything, the frames are running pretty good. Uh, so that's good. That's they, I think they fixed some lighting things in the game as well. So that's nice to see. But anyway, um, I think we're going to leave it right there. Can I place it on this? No, can't place it on this. Can I place it on that? 
I sure can. Ooh, coo, coo, coo. Okay, so there's our peak at the 120 update. Of course, you know, I'm still discovering stuff from blocks that they've implemented years and years ago. So we're going to find plenty more uses for all this stuff in the future. But for today, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I love you to death. And we'll see you in the next episode.